Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining. And if you are a subscriber, thanks for coming on back. It is my B day. So I thought it'd be fun to do some kind of like out there B day glam. So we've got a little green, we got a little duochrome, we got a little smoke happening. And let's just get right into it. As usual, we're starting with one eye already done and we are working on the second eye. So we're gonna start with a blue eyeliner and I'm gonna be using two. So this first one is by NYX and it's the color Deep Blue. It's one of the slim pencil liners. And the other one is by, I think it's Joer, Joer. It's a cream eyeshadow crayon and this is in the shade avant-garde and I'm only using two because this pencil is obviously very skinny so this is just gonna help fill out the shape faster and I'm gonna start by looking forward and I'm just going to sketch just above my crease and I'm gonna go about halfway over and I'm going above my crease because when my eye is open this, my actual natural crease, you can't really see the color there. So I wanna make sure that I'm going above the crease so that you'll still be able to see the color. I'm gonna go in with the fatter pencil and just fill in this entire area. So like I said, this is really just because these colors are pretty similar. Um, they're similar enough that this works and it saves time by not having to use that itty bitty pencil the whole way across. And now where that pencil was too wide to reach, I'm just gonna go in with the slim one and just fill in this inner corner area. And I'm also gonna take this on the lower lash line about halfway across. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just wanna make sure that the color is there. Now I'm going in with a black eyeliner and I'm gonna create this shape here in the outer crease area with the black eyeliner. So I'm gonna start by placing my edge where I want it and placing it on the lower lash line. And I kinda want this line to go like down and then up. So that's how I'm sketching it on here. So it's gonna kind of have like a curve to it and then go out and I'm gonna connect them. And then now I'm just gonna fill this in. I don't have a larger black pencil, but if I did, I would be doing that same technique instead of doing it this way. Now we're gonna do some blending. I'm using this green shade, it's called G Train and it's from the Urban Decay G Train palette and that's what we're going to use to start to define the crease and i'm applying this with a little small shader brush and we're just going to take this right where that color stops and these pencils are pretty blendable which is nice the eyeshadow isn't sticking to the pencil too too much to where you can't move it around and i'm also going to press this into the black the black was more of a base just to deepen the screen here. So I'm pressing it on so we have that green color all through here. And we're following this shape that we created as well. So we just wanna make sure that you're following the shape. I'm using that same green, but I'm gonna go in with a pointed fluff brush and just place some of that green on top of the black on the lower lash line. To further blend this green out, I'm gonna go in with Niger. It's a brighter green from the Juvia's Place Afrique palette. And I'm using a really big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna lightly dust that through in this sort of like brow bone area, just to make sure that we have a nice blend. I'm also gonna bring it a little bit into this like inner, I don't know if that's the inner corner, I don't know if it's the inner corner or like the inner brow bone, but whatever you wanna call this, I'm just gonna bring it a little bit into here just to make sure that we have color all over the lid. We're gonna further deepen this wing on the outer corner and create more of like a cut crease effect by using the black color from the Juvia's Place Afrique palette. It's called Chad down here at the bottom and I'm using a pointed eyeshadow brush. 
and I'm using a very little bit. This shadow is really pigmented, so tap lightly in it and then you can always build if you want more intensity. And I'm just taking it right sort of where that blue and green meet, um, just above like my natural crease. And then I'm gonna tap some of it on to the outer edge. So I really want it to be like the darkest at the end of the wing. And hopefully this eye looks the same as the other one. I feel like whenever I do them this way, when I start with one done and do the other one, one always looks like a little bit different because you know, when you're applying them at the same time, you're doing the same thing. So I'm really hoping that like we have that effect this time. And I'm also gonna take it a little bit onto the lower lash line. By using that black base, we're able to get that nice definition by just adding a tiny, tiny bit of black eyeshadow. And it's pretty simple to do. Like you see, I didn't add much and you can see, you know, I was popping a little more. Now we're going to one of my favorite palettes, the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity. I just, I love this palette so much. And we're gonna use Dragonfly. It's this beautiful duochrome, like blue-green shimmer. It's one of my favorite colors in the entire palette. I've got a flat eyeshadow brush here that I'm just gonna dampen with um, some water. I like to use the Evian water spray because I like to be fancy, but you could just dip it in water. It's, this is not necessary at all. And dampening the brush really helps increase the intensity of this color. And we're just gonna place it on the inner portion of the lid. And I'm just pressing in so I can feel my eye socket. And then I'm going on that line. This color you can see like layered on top of this blue. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out, but as soon as I put it down on the other eye, I was glad that I took the chance and like just went for it. And I'm just gonna sweep it across and down and just break up any harsh lines that may be on here. I'm gonna stick with Dragonfly. Now I'm just using a little pointy eyeshadow brush. I'm also gonna dampen that brush and we're just gonna place Dragonfly in the inner corner. Just tapping it on the lower lash line and inner corner area. I'm grabbing a bigger eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna pick up some of Smoke Amethyst and we're just gonna put that like sort of at the end of where Dragonfly is, just to add a little bit more depth and color to the end of that wing shape. And this is like a blackish purple. I've cleaned off my brush and I'm just gonna sweep it into Dragonfly. I'm just mixing these two together. I'm going in with a detail brush and I'm gonna grab Fuchsia Shock. It's a super, super pretty purple. And we're gonna use that in this inner corner area as well. So it's going into Dragonfly a bit and down below and into that black. I've got a more like fluffy pointed brush and I'm going in with Venomous Void. And we're just gonna use that to deepen that purple a little bit and smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm just applying it right underneath and moving it into the black. Now y'all, these lower lash lines do not look the same, but it's okay. We're gonna roll with it. So last but not least, we are just gonna clean up the wing shape with a brush that has like a little bit of leftover concealer on it. I didn't put any more on, so it's what I left whenever I clean up my brows. And we're just gonna lightly use this sort of as like an eraser to clean up this line. And that's it. I'm gonna add some lashes and lipstick and come back with the final look. So I finished off with a nice fluffy lash and a nude lip because y'all know, if there's anything I can't resist, it is a nude lip. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The best gift you can give me is a thumbs up on this video and to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. I have a new video every Tuesday and Friday and that way you can be first to know when the video is uploaded and who wouldn't want that? So don't forget to do that and I will see y'all next time. Bye.